Meow, my kitty loves dry grass. Oh, no. oh god, there's a scorpion trying to sneak up on my cat. Why is the scorpion bigger than the cat is? I don't know. This cat actually has a double jump. I don't know why. I like. I think I read about this in the like cat bio or whatever, but I didn't figure it out until whatever. But yeah, he's got a double jump. He can jump five blocks up, or is that four? That's five, man. Look at that. Oh, man. Ugh. Wish I'd figure that out sooner, but oh well. Ah, no big deal. Anyway. Oh yeah, chickens, chickens. Somebody told me actually my chickens might be in danger a little bit. I mean, it does make sense. Um, because the ghosts are probably hitting them, like when they try to sleep at night, which is not good. It's not cool of those ghosts to be doing that. So what I could do, I guess, is kind of just maybe reinforce my fencing here a little bit so they can't get to them as easily. Boom, 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 boom. Man, I hear that food getting done over there. Well, speaking of food, I guess I'm starving, too. Well, then that's something. So that ought to be good. Maybe just put one more right there, just in case. Let's see, I gotta remember the controls for this again. Well, that's not gonna protect them completely, because the front is still exposed, so I don't know. Like, maybe I should go ahead and, like, do the rest of it. I guess I'll put some on the front, too, so that that way at least they're not exposed on the front. I assume the ghosts can't get through the doors, though. They couldn't do that in the first game, I'm pretty sure. So, wow, there's just some eggs waiting for me in there, and also it's raining. That's uh, a little more like real life for sure. It's been raining a lot. This lasts like two and a half weeks. It's been like cloudy and stuff every single day. Kind of crazy. All oh, right, I can't run because I'm hungry. Well, let me go grab me some food then. Let me just dig through here and see what we got in here. Got plenty of bread. Bread is always good for filling up the tum tum. Let me tell you. Maybe I'll just take some of that with me. I don't know what I'm actually doing right now. I was thinking about building those mine tracks. I'm trying to think. Oh, someone else mentioned something about the bathroom in here. You know, in the bathroom! I had to say it. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I put the decorations over here, too. And I built this. This is like a big, giant, well, large, rustic bathroom. Yeah, I just put a bunch of bathtubs in here. So everybody can just bathe anytime they want to. Malroth, you want to bathe? You can totally bathe, too. You probably need it, buddy. Yeah, so at some point I would like to come through and actually make these all in one bathroom, but I'm probably not going to do that on screen because it would take a while and I'm not used to building in first person and I don't want to take the whole roof apart to try to do it the normal way. So, but the thing of it is, like, you can only have so many, like, so many rooms on the Isle of Awakening. There's a limit to it. It's like a hundred and something, I don't know. But, and each of those bathrooms counts as an individual room, so, like, that's not really helping having five of them. You can just build one and put all the toilets in there, and they'll still be able to use it separately. You know, so that's that's kind of cool. That's good to know. Are you going to lay them tracks? Well, I was just thinking about it. I got unlimited iron now, so maybe I can do that. Rawr. My boot's being very weird today. Oh, let's see. So I got to figure out where tracks are, what tracks fall under here. Ah, here we go. Right, machinery, of course. Well, how many do I... I already have 355. Well, uh, you know what? I'm going to make more. I'm going to make 330 more. <laughs> Okay, all right. Let's back out of that and let's see where my track's at. Oh, here we go, all the way on the last screen. Hell, <laughs> maybe I'll grab some minecarts while I'm at it. I guess I can make some stop signs, too. I'm not too fussed about that right now, but I, I mean, might as well while we're still here. Let's go back to machinery, and here we go. I'll just make five. I don't think it's a huge deal right now. Okay. So yeah, so uh, so I have been doing a lot off screen, as you can tell. Like I don't know if I had all these farms here before. I think I just had one or maybe two. And uh, I didn't really do much in here. I guess I made a bunch of tables in here. I moved the piano. I made a shop over here. I made another bedroom because you never have to. And I made this farm because holy hell, if we didn't really kind of need to do that at this point. So I got them all sitting out here, and I got this set up to be whatever. And I got stuff in the chest. Actually, I don't, but that's okay. That field will just be for later when I get something else. Actually, I probably have something else. I'll rule my Empire of Evisceration. That's great to know. Um, well, the thing of it is, well, what do I have? Like, I guess I have tomato seeds, but you have to put those on the pole and all that stuff. I have sugar cane, but they're not really... Well, you have to have water to grow those, so everything else is kind of... I mean, I suppose I could plant these. Plant in pristine water to grow heat root, yeah. <laughs> chili seed, plant in tilde to grow chili... I mean, I guess I could put this stuff on here. There's really no reason not to. To grow some sweet corn, grow some strawberries, grow a tree. Huh. Oh, hell, I could grow medicinal shrubs. Medicinal shrubs? Yeah, I could totally do that. Uh, gladiolus. 
Oh yeah, I guess pumpkins too. Yeah, sure. Too lazy to make the poles right now. I don't know though. So you just put the coffee over here. And put these over here like this. No, the worm's checking him. He's like, what should we grow next? I don't know. What should we grow next? Pretty much just anything. Just kind of leave these out here or whatever. I guess I could just put the seeds in the chest and let them plant them. But I'm pretty sure, though, if you want them to plant anything specific, you have to, like, go to the scarecrow and specify, like, hey, we're, we're growing strawberries here. So if I, like, put these in the chest and then talk to the scarecrow, well, I don't see strawberries here. I guess because you have to grow your own before they would actually show up on the chart. That would make sense, yeah, so. Well, in that case, let me uh, put something in here that I know is on there. And then that way I can have them plant pumpkins. Yeah. And I assume, like, and pretty much you can just grow anything you want in the field. You don't have to grow just what you tell them to grow. Holy, hey, look, sprouts. <laughs> hey, look, big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. And then sweet corn, wait. I had one more sweet corn. Okay, I'll just put it right there. Anyway, well, that's enough of the farming for now. As the de facto master of this island, I'll see to it that nobody steps out of the line while you're off adventuring. Thank you very much for that. We have so many uh, ingots on the way here. Ah, uh, yes, so... Just grab these, what am I doing? I don't know. Dad's just standing in here looking all demure. Ah, uh, damn, that turns me on. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Oh, I did go get some cows off screen too, so I think I only got two of them though. So, oh, and you can also milk them, I guess? You just, like, equip the bottomless pot and go up and press R2 and you can milk them. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Now, it doesn't actually put milk in your pot, I assume, right? Yeah, you still have the water and everything. That's pretty cool. I don't know where my other cow is. Probably off sleeping somewhere. No, he's out there, I'm sure. Huh, anyway. Okay, fine. All right, I'm gonna get started building these tracks then. Been wanting to do this forever and a day now. I am pretty much ready to go to chapter 3, though. I think I'm probably going to do it pretty soon here. So let's just go ahead and set the stop sign right there, and then we'll go... Oh. Yeah, make us a station, baby. Uh, Malroth is just... Oh, shoot, I can't build over the stone path. Okay. Interesting, and now my phone's going off. Okay, so I can't build them over the stone path, and I don't want to go the long way around the building, so I'm just going to actually remove this stone path here. I don't really need this necessarily. I was just doing it for decoration more than anything. But yeah, so we'll just keep moving on ahead here. Lay the tracks. 18 out of 200. We got a ways to go here. Uh, I don't want to go in all the way to the walkway though, so here. I'm gonna just have a little bit in between here. Yeah, pretty much even when you put them outside, it still counts toward your 200, so that's kind of cool. Man, I'm just now starting to realize this could take a while. Not that I mind. <laughs> Lillian, plus two, what did you just do? Probably farming or something. Actually, I think she was like a cook. Yeah, so the cool thing is, well, I didn't really actually decide totally what I was doing here, like where the path was going to go. I'm almost tempted to kind of just, like, build my own tunnel rather than try to make one through the mountains, even though I did do that already. I don't remember where it is, though. It might be a good idea to actually go take a look. Okay, so I built the tracks up to over there, but and then I realized my tunnel is actually off this way. So I, I'm just going to leave those tracks there, and maybe I'll do something with them later. But anyway, so we're going to head off this way a little bit. Now we're all just love standing in front of me while I build these tracks. Maybe he likes being pushed from behind. I don't know. Oh yeah, it'll actually stay up off the ground too. <laughs> That's kind of funny that it actually does that, but anyway, I don't know what's up with this like little hole here. It's just kind of there. A little rat hanging out down there. My first thought is, oh, I better pull out my camera and take a picture of it. But no, that's Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Again, with getting my games mixed up here. Yeah, this is a long way out here, but we will get there. Even just to fulfill the quest, like, I haven't even done that yet. We're about to, but, you know, still. Yeah, so the tunnel's over there, and the spider's right there. And this here is kind of in the way, although not really. But it's just enough that I kind of don't want it there. So I'm going to just bump this out a little bit here. Just kind of knock it out. And now we can start building this way. And it still counts. All right, 200. That quest is officially done. Now we're riding over the water here. I could totally decorate this up really nice. Um, 
Uh oh. Oh, I guess we gotta make a hill here. I didn't think about that. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I totally did it. I mean, that's that's pretty much enough right there to do it, I think. So then if I just come through here and I do this, and this, and this, it'll just keep going right uphill. Get it in there. <laughs> and then move the camera back a little bit. Okay, so now we're in the tunnel. You can't place that here. You can't mow your lawn. Did I miss a spot? No. It kind of threw me off when it said you can't place that here. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be a lot of monsters here. Wait, this isn't the tunnel. Hang on a second. This just goes... Wait, what is this? Hang on a second. I don't know what this is. I think there's like some random structure that's just out there on the island that you can find. I don't really think there's anything here, but it's kind of cool that it's here. There's a book. Should we get some lore? There's a dog-eared book entitled A New Dawn. And that's takes a closer look. It seems to be a long, handwritten memoir. Oh, no. Did I see this already? Because I remember turning this down, or one of these, one time. At long last, I found one I've long been searching for, a desert island upon which my dreams make shape. However, on my journey here, I learned a terrible truth about this world, such as the weight this revolution carries. I can scarce find the courage to commit it to paper. Since the moment I awoke in this world, I had an inkling that all was not as it seemed, but the notion only truly began to take hold in Middenhall. When the truth finally dawned, my zest for life seemed to fade, and this decrepit vessel I call my body stood face to face with death. I landed here a vibrant youth, but when I gaze into the mirror now, all that greets me is this wizened old countenance. Huh. To add to my woes, it would appear that the children of Hardon have discovered this island too. Whether it is they who will meet mount my demise or of nature shall be the one to receive that honor, I cannot predict. All I can say for certain is that death stalks me like a shadow. The memoir ends there. Oh, that wasn't so long. Yeah. I don't see it. Oh, oh, I do see the tunnel. It's right down there. Hey. How about that? Okay. Um. All right, let's keep building then. I don't like to make too many turns really close together because it kind of feels... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is this heading for it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh oh, I need to uh, build downhill here. How am I going to do that? So we're going to need to come downhill a little bit here, which means do that and that. Anyway, right, where's the tunnel again? Okay, it's right there. So we're going to need to turn it a little bit here. Like, probably right here, I guess? Yeah. I want this to actually go right down the middle of the tunnel. The tunnel is like five blocks wide here, so I think this should do it. Yep, it does. We are on block three out of five and going in. I didn't expect it to be this bright in here. I thought it was going to be like pitch black or something. And then again, I remember in the first game, they were always pretty nice about lighting up the caves for you so you could see what you were doing. Even when there was no apparent source of light, I think it would have been cooler. I was imagining it being dark, though, because what I was going to do was take a bunch of those little glowy blue plants that you get. I forget what they're called. Glow drops or something. And I was just going to line them along the sides here. Well, there's like no ceiling here. Ah. Then again, we can always build one. If we want to. That's the cool thing. You just build anything you want. So I built all this way and I still had 360 pieces of railroad to make here. Once we get to the end of this, it'll all be connected. And these ghosts just want to keep bothering us here. Serves me right for trying to do this at night, I guess, but there you go. So when we come out... Oh, whoa, whoa, easy there. When we come out at the end of this, should be pretty close now. I guess we can just head up that way. Ah, thank you. Thank you, morning sun. I've never been so thankful for you. Oh yeah, I definitely built these here so I could... Just come back like this, and then go up, uh, Oh wait, can you like turn and go uphill at the same time? No, you cannot. Okay, I'm just getting attacked left and right here by these scorpions, man, I tell you. They just love that morning sun, I guess, same as I do. Okay, so we can't go uphill and turn at the same time, so we need to make sure we're like going in a straight line when we come through. Now, I'm definitely not going to build this and then not actually ride it. Hang on. Oh, I guess we're going across the way. Well, I might need to make a little... Okay, I think I got it set up the way I want here. We'll just give it a nice ride over the water like that. Very easy. Almost there. Man. This has been a hell of a journey building this thing, I tell ya. But there we are. Now we're just gonna be wide up in the air again. 
It'd be like a roller coaster just riding across the middle of the air here. I don't know, I kind of like it though. So the rest of it, the rest of the village is right there. I assume we can turn in midair. Yes, we can. Maybe just give them a nice view of the town on their way in. You know, we don't have to land right here. What's we got left? 225, okay. Let's just keep going. Ba 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 ba. I don't know if that's my jukebox playing that, but <laughs> I don't think this is the usual music you hear here. Maybe this would be a good spot to do it. Because I'm going to have to build up something to the, to this, so, uh, yeah, wow. Can I make it out of anything else besides what we have here? This is going to be one weird-looking station by the time I'm done with it, if it's anything like I think it's going to be. Four, five. Because I can, like, build around this and make it look cool, I'm sure. I just don't know if I would ever actually do anything with it, but... I might have to move the Saber Cat here. I mean, this is kind of perfect, because it's going to land right here where the where the center is, so let me just take you off here. Get rid of the stone here, and let's build some kind of foundation a little bit here. And then I can just kind of connect it at the... You know, just connect it right off of that here. Here we go. And then we'll just go boom, and boom, and boom, and boom, and boom. And yes. Then I'll just have it kind of turn this way and put the stop sign... Oh, where's my stop signs at? I think I put them away because I was cleaning out stuff in between. Then we'll just put another station right there. There you go. Okay. Well, now we're off. You want to go for a ride here? Let's do it. Oh, man. I don't know about this. Oh, God. It's so... Okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, man. This is probably going to look... Oh, man. I, I kind of hope I can make this look cooler. But, yeah. Over the thing. Over the thing. Oh, my God. This is going fast, man. Through the tunnel, <laughs> across this way, over there, up the side, here, through the... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did we run out of gas? Oh, I think the, the, the monster stopped us there. Huh. Oh, yeah, it is different music when you come back out here. This is a long ride. So you asked me to build one that was 200 long? I did one 500 long, so how do you like that? <laughs> there you go. Oh man, how do you like it? Well, I already talked to him, so I guess I need to go at least turn it in or whatever it is you call doing this. Cold Bloodians, yes, you may be the minecart track I asked for. It's bleeding brilliant. I know you like to warp from one place to another, but that ain't the only way to get about. Riding a minecart gives you the chance to take in the scenery. It's a nice way to see the world, you know what I mean? My vision for Doobie's dystopia is a land covered in minecart track as far as the eye can see. Well, <laughs> sir, I can make that happen. I mean, this is just the first step. Wait till we build one up to the third area. Which I'm definitely thinking I'll probably do now. Like, I gotta commit to this. I can't just build this one and then stop there. I don't know if I'll always show myself building all the rest, but I'm... Yeah, maybe I will. There's something sort of fun about that. I don't know why I'm picking up hearts when I can just ring the bell. Like Anita Ward in 1979. So I put my bell over here. I don't know if it was always there, but... Well, that's where it is now, so... Do with that what you will. Oh, 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 you know, one other thing I haven't done yet. For some reason, I don't know why, I thought these just got added automatically. But no, I haven't, like, gone and picked up the other tablet targets for this area. And there's probably some of those we could actually do now. Actually, I could probably do quite a few of them. I feel a powerful force emanating from the tablet. Yaha! The force of the poop. Whatever that means. I am still in this dress, though. What was that, NTS? Wait, don't tell me. You've become a better builder than before, haven't you? Hmm, ho ho ho, you're really coming on. There he is. Hello. I can feel the power of creation coursing through the island right now. Not through you, just the island, you know. It's great news, my empire of evisceration will be. Uh oh. Oh no, not again. Oh god, it's happening again. My lord and master. Oh, okay. He's talking fast today. Uh, what ails you, mighty Malroth? Does something cause you pain? Let's totally fast forward this. Oh, you again. Can't you just leave me alone? As the wor- Oh, no, no. I see. 
as the world fills with the power of creation, your appetite for destruction grows and grows and grows and grows and... Oh, lies! It's all lies! I don't think so. Oh, something's happening to you. Oh, no. He's doing the cloud from Final Fantasy VII thing. Maroth becomes stronger. Okay. The day... Oh, that precious day that you yourself will lead this ultra-ravaged world to its salvation by the cranberries draws ever closer and closer. But first, you must understand the undeniable, irrefutable, absolute, inconsequential truth. You must know your own nature. Not your mother, just nature. You must become the all-knowing, all-dancing crap of the world god that you know you are. Are you all right now, Roth? Is something the matter? Oh, it's nothing, I'm fine. This voice in my head just talks so slow. It makes that guy in Don and Rumpa Ultra Despair Girls sound fast, that Jotaro or whatever his name is. Get in, even better for keeping the monsters away from me. You will keep them away from me, won't you? Promise me you won't let him touch me. Right, well, I think it's time I headed back to the temple. If you ever need me, you know where I am. I know where you are, all right, good sir. As for the Crumbledonians, I reckon we're gonna stick around here. We're quite taken by the place. But don't worry, you ain't gonna ask no more favors of you. You're free to build whatever you want, wherever you want. That said, it'd be nice to have a pub for me, loyal punters. Oh, I haven't done that yet, have I? Shoot, okay. Let's do that before we go. I don't know if we're gonna get to Chapter 3 in this video or not, because Chapter 3 kind of starts a little rough. It's like... There's a lot going on in the first part of that chapter. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be jumping into that and then, like, stop the video halfway into it or in the middle of while all that's going on. Hmm, what's the plan? Is yes, are you going to see that loony up at the temple? If so, I want to go with you. I want to consult with him about how we might go defending Lulutopia from invasion. I want to consult with Pedro President Petrov. You know? Sure, okay. Oh, hello. Were you going to come to my temple? I mean, I could just talk to you here. You know, that would save us both a lot of time, wouldn't it? Would you look at that? It's a mini metal. Yeah, I probably got a bunch of these now because of all the crap I've been doing before I activated this. Smashing, now that you made so many different rooms, you should start to get a feeling for the ambiance of the rooms you make. The amount of gratitude a person leaves when they use a room depends on its ambiance. Try mixing things up and see what works best. Build lots of different rooms complete. Another challenge complete, I see. Cracking job. Would you look at that? It's a mini metal. What did you do this time? What did you get? Find more residents. Well, yeah, we definitely did that. Another challenge complete. Hell yeah. And here comes another one. What do we got? Oh, man, there's so many of these. Build an animal house. Yeah, well, we did it. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is this for recruiting two animals? Uh, animal house you build is fantastic. Yes, it is. If you place two cats or two dogs in an animal house and make them as happy as they can be, then they might have sex and you'll have a cog. More berry? Oh, okay. Oh, right, the pencil. Oh, man. I wonder if we could get that now. Okay, so, c confession. I've never gotten it before. Of course, I guess you could tell because I, you know, got the puzzle solver achievement. When you have either two dogs or two cats with max happiness, feed them both a more berry, put them in a pen together, and then morning comes. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Build rooms of different ambiences. Okay, ambiance, ambience, I don't really know. I always want to say ambiance because that's what I hear other people say. I don't know though. Uh, what's in here? Oh wow, there's just stuff in here. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, we could look and see like what the remaining targets are. New targets materialize on the tablet, so it's different ambiences. Something here that, that I've already done, apparently, three of. Build a room somewhere down low. Build a hotel. Okay, so down low and up high, those are actually pretty easy to do. Build a very fancy room. Yeah. Build a hotel. Shit, dude. Wow, I almost got this mystery one done, and this one. Optional, sell something. Optional, build a changing room. Optional, build an animal house. Breed some pets. Place lots of naughty night lights. Oh, <laughs> uh, lots of different food. Hey, we're getting there with that one. Find more residents. 
Okay. Yeah, there's just stuff to do. I thought there was one that was like build a room somewhere way up high. Did I already do that or something? Because I... Oh, maybe that's on the other tablet target. Wait, let me go check it out. Yeah, so these are all different up here. Okay, build a restaurant. <laughs> build a room somewhere up high. Make lots of meadow. I still haven't done that. Make lots of forests. Still haven't done that. Make lots of water. I've done that. Light up the island. Oh, we got two more to do there. Build a farm. Okay, so I, I guess I need to do that here and not there. Build lots of fields. Man, there's just stuff to do here, man. Let me tell you. All kinds of stuff. Like, building the fields wouldn't be that hard. It's just as simple as setting worm food down, but you'd have to bring him back over to this area of the island for him to do it. So, there is that. I mean, building a room up high, I can show you right now how to do that. That's easy. Basically, we just need to go... Man, I wish I had that... Um... That... I want to say Wyvern, but it's not called that in this game. It's called Chimera, or something like that. If I had him with me right now, I could just fly right up there, but that's okay. Like, basically, if we go up here, well, to the top of that, actually, you know what? Man, I wish I had a rocket shield right about now, I tell ya. Yeah, when you start to get up here where the mountain is all, like, gray like this, then you know you're getting very high up as far as altitude goes. How's it going, Chimera? But if we just get up here, and it doesn't matter what kind of room it is, just as long as you have... Oh, God, tell me I brought a door. I... I oh, yeah, here we go. I got, like, a hundred of these. <laughs> I came prepared, all right. Let's so just build the room right here, basically. There, da dun 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 whoops, okay. And I think this will actually count. Tiny room, yep. And there it is. Somewhere up high, complete. Excellent. Go ahead, give me my tablet thing. Ho ho, another challenge complete. Cracking job, would you look at that? Yup. So now we're down to five. Like, okay, we're down to 40. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it for that, and we'll never be coming back here again, but I guess that room will always be there, and maybe someday we'll come back up here and revisit it. I could see myself doing that, actually, in the future. There's, like, still food on the plates here. Huh, okay. Can I see my tracks from here? Yeah, they're right over there. And they just go off that way. Like, I don't know why I didn't just build right through here, you know? I could have just done that, but... Huh. Well, yeah, the pyramid looks pretty cool from here. Somebody mentioned that, like, the top layer of this pyramid is not actually centered. And that's a weird sort of random fact that I don't know I wanted to hear, but... <laughs> no, actually, I don't mind. That's kind of cool to know. The wheat's still building up here. Uh, I thought I saw... Oh, okay, you can see him on the map. He's right to the west of me. Yeah, he's right over there. I'll just jump on my frying pan. He's carrying bread. He's just randomly carrying bread. I ain't satisfied with the pyramid in Oasis. I want to build more, more, more! Oh, so that's it. Okay. Well, speaking of bread... Oh, I need to put this cat down somewhere. Maybe I can put him down with, uh... the other guy over here. I don't know, just put him somewhere to get him out of the way. <laughs> they can be like our temple guardians or something. Wait a minute, what do you, what do you, what do you want, Ophelia? Get over here. Oh, I see you brought back a lovely shopkeeper. We's in business now. That said, we still need something to sell. If it puts items on top of a price tag, the merchant will supply it to the others. We're sure the islanders will be delighted. A little retail therapy makes them all happy, happy. Hmm. How will anyone buy anything without any money? What's it? What's it talking about? Oh, you do say some very odd things. What is this money it speaks of? Oh, seriously, what is it? Oh God! If only. If only we lived in such a world that I don't know how we would function. Well, I guess just everything would be barter, basically. Just trade one thing for another. Yeah. So you can sell stuff in the shop. Like I said, you don't... I mean, there is no money to gain from it, but... There's gratitude. And gratitude is just as important. We all know this. So basically, right here, open. Yeah, and just set something down. I mean, what... I don't know, medicinal herb? I don't know if I want to get rid of those. Open, and, uh, place? Place all? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I don't know who would be foolish enough to buy that, but... Here, let me see if I can put some tables on here. I don't know. <laughs> I tried putting eggs on there, it wouldn't let me, though, for some reason, so I guess now it's a furniture store. It's a store that sells furniture and swords. What kind of a store would sell both of those things? Hey, what's up? You got an attack up boost. You been eating those eggs? I mean, good for you if you are. 
Okay, so that's done. So I haven't built the bar yet. I guess we could totally do that now. Mm, Lulu's still with me. I don't know why she's hanging around. I mean, not that I mind. Anyway, let's see. So in order to do this, we're gonna start with a pub sign. Or two. I don't know. I think you only need one, really. We'll make the dart boards, more or more appropriately, the darty party, which is what you get when you put three of them together. Yep, there they are. Under decoration. We got unlimited grass fiber, so let's just make 21 of them. I don't care. <laughs> I now have 21 decks of playing cards. How many cards is that all together? That's, uh, 1,040 plus 52. That's 1,092. Okay. We need a wall-mounted light source, which I assume we already have, but you can never be too sure. So it has to be wall-mounted, so like this right here. Or, well, I guess I can make these, too. Ceramic sconce, that's pretty cool. Uh, sure, let's do it. Let's make five. <laughs> I don't know why I always like to just make more than what I need. I'm just crazy like that. We need a water jug. Is that in here, too? I think, yeah, it's right there. Perfect, okay. I'll make two of them. I'm going to make the party pub here, basically, which I think is what we made on Crumbledon, but I'm not 100% sure. That might have been the well-stocked bar we made there. I'll make a few bottles here, because, you know, it's not a pub without bottles, man. I'm also going to need to make, like, a counter and all that. Oh, uh, give me 33 of them. <laughs> I don't know, how big is this place again? Well, let me see, we're just going to have to figure that out. I did get my tables, or, or like, oh, shoot. Grow lots of different crops. Oh, shoot, okay. I guess I did plant all those pumpkins and stuff, so now that's all over there. So I guess now we've done that one. That's cool. I wasn't sure if that was, like... I forgot that that was one of them. I guess I was thinking of the ones on the other side of town. Anyway, you'll have to harvest any crops in your fields from now on. If you don't want to, just remove the scarecrow. Four more to the magic pencil. Jeez, I'm gonna have to learn how to use that. Oh, because I'm not gonna know what I'm doing with that. Anyway... Well, here's our bar. It's already set up. We don't have a door yet. Well, good luck getting dressed without a door. So we have that, and we need a door. I'm just gonna take out one, because I only need one. I'm not gonna take out all 15 of them, even though that's be a faster clicking session there. So first things first, the lights. Put one right there, and one right there. That's... Light up the island. Oh, yeah, so, okay. We got that one done. We had 48 out of 50. Well, now we got 50. I wonder if there's another one for, like, putting out a hundred or two hundred. That'd be, like, the easiest thing to do ever if it was one of them. Wait, I'm trying to cross my legs without knocking my mic stand over here. Okay. Yep, three more. <laughs> it's happening faster than we thought. Okay, um... Wait, I'm not done with the lights yet. What am I doing? We'll put one right there and one right there, because I like that. And I'll put one over here. Just gotta make sure we save room for the happy dart thing. Let me just put that over here, like so, and so, and so. That's Darty Party. So just put, like, a couple of small tables here, and then just put some cards on them. And then do the... There we go. Two card tables, just like that. Well, how far as that goes, we can make four of them. Well, do I have enough stools for that, though? I got one more stool. Well, certainly I can just make another one if I need to. All right, let me just go ahead and get started on the counter here, so I guess I'll just run this all the way across here like this. And they'll just have a whole bunch of room back there to work with. There we go. <laughs> and then we'll just kind of spread these out. They don't have to be all next to each other or anything. Just whatever. And I put some cards here for the hell of it. Got the pub sign already. Uh, we need the water jug. Where did I... Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Once we put this up here, I believe... Shoot, almost forgot to make the cocktail shaker. Let's make a few of those, too. This entire counter is just gonna be filled with crap, man. It's just like on the song eBay. You know, my house is filled with this crap. It comes in bubble wrap. I guess we could have this go all the way to the wall. That's not the worst thing in the world. Here, put one right there. We also need some chairs, though, so let me... Set these down, nice and far away from each other. Still living in COVID times here, after all. Okay, I'm just gonna set up a couple of benches back here, I guess. So the bartenders can kind of take a break if they need to. Put one more right there. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm missing here. Oh, we're missing one more thing here, the bar counter. 
I just put a bunch of connecting counters together. I forgot it actually had to be a bar counter. Whoa, very easy mistake to make there. Or maybe just easy for me to make. All right, so we got to kind of redo this a little bit here. All we really have to do is just take out the front four here. The rest can just keep going on as it is, but this should pretty much... Oh, right, but we need the chairs to be next to it, too. We don't need this table to be here. All right, let me just redo this a little bit here. Everything else is going to stay like it is, but this right here... Bump, bump, and then the cocktail counter needs to be... Or, I mean, the cocktail shaker, rather, needs to be over here. There we go, we got it. This looks a lot better. Just for shits and giggles, I'll put another one over here on the end. Just to kind of keep things stocked up here. Did I put the pub sign up yet? I'm not sure if I did. I'll put one right there. And then just to make sure people know what this is, I'll put one on the outside too. Nice. Alright, let me just go place this last stool over here while we figure this out. Okay, card table, yes. I'll just sit here for a minute, have myself a drink. Nah, I'm good. Not much of a drinker, but that's okay. Oh my god, the cow is coming to have a drink. Man, I I thought I'd seen everything, but I tell you. Yeah, what you gonna do, man? What you gonna get? Are you gonna get some, uh, some of that Lon Lon Moo Moo drink or whatever that is that it's called? <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> Let's see, I'll just put some more tables and chairs over here. I'm not sure why this doesn't count as a sipper set, though. Like a simple sipper set, the drinks have to be on the table, the table has to be adjacent to the chair. These are chairs, right? Like, a stone stool is a type of chair. Well, it's a type of furniture. Can be sat on. <laughs> I think that's what you do with chairs in the world. I could be wrong, though. Well, I sure don't know. Like, even, like, usually when you're inside of a room and you press the map button, it says what kind of room you're in, small item shop. But when I go in here and press it, it just goes to the map. So, like, this doesn't even count as a room for some reason. Is there a wall? Maybe there's a piece of the wall missing. I mean, I could narrow it down by, like, cutting the room in half and just see if that counts as a room. Like, I have the door, I have the light sources, I don't know what's missing here. I seriously don't know, this is baffling me. And even if it wasn't a room, like, the simple sipper set would still... Oh, this cow wants to play cards now. Oh, I tell ya. Well... I've been spending a lot of time trying to figure this out now, and, uh... To be honest, I think I might need to stop the video here, because, uh... Yeah, I don't know what's happening here anymore. It's a total freaking mystery to me. But at least the three of us are together, and that's all that really matters. So, next time on Dragon Quest Builders, I'm gonna figure out whatever's going on here, and then we're just going to hit the road to Chapter 3, I believe. So, yeah. Take care, y'all. Wait, let me say bye. All three of us together. Whoops, no, 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 I, oh, I always get that wrong. There we go. All three of us together just laughing and whatever else we do. Haha, <laughs> love having friends, it's awesome.